at ShaneStarsWithDroidModerace.com. As you can see, I'm currently running Cyanogemite 10.1 on my droid DNA. Now this is very unofficial, it's very beta. This is by developer Drew X2 and I just want to give him a big shout out for even getting this to where it's booting on the droid DNA. Um, as you guys know we have an unlocked bootloader but it makes things very difficult uh, when it comes to AOSP development because currently we are S on so we're security on and we really need S off to be able to really dive into AOSP on this device which for now we just don't have that. So in this build, what's working is the display, the orientation sensors, lights, and believe it or not, NFC is actually working in this build. What's not working is real camera, Wi-Fi, and data. I'm not getting any kind of connection whatsoever, no uh, phone, cellular service, uh, or data, 3G or 4G, and the audio is not working either. So if you're going to run this, do be sure to have a full backup of whatever current ROM that you're on so that you can easily flash back. For now, this is strictly for development, or if you just want to jump in and play around, uh, you can go through and search for bugs and do bug reports. Uh, so it, it's it's nice to be able to play around with this, and it is really neat that we do have AOSP. It's great to see the developers and the community is really working on this, trying to get it together. I know my computer doctor said that he was also working on uh, AOSP as well. So we do have several developers that are dedicated to getting CM10 uh, fully functional on this device. Uh, they're just running into trouble with S on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into settings. And we'll go to About Phone. You guys can see that it is the DLX or the HTC Droid DNA. We're running Android version 4.1.2. The kernel version, that's Dirty Drew's kernel there. And we have the CyanogenMod version is uh, from February 3rd. It is the latest build. And let's see, the build number is listed there as well. So if we go back, we can go into Performance Settings now. Like I said, all the CM10 features are fully functional. So if we go into processor, we have minimum and maximum CPU frequencies that can both be changed. We can go in and change our governor. If we go into the interface, we can change our launcher settings. So we can change the grid size so that we can have more applications on the front of the phone. Of course, with no Wi-Fi and no data, that is all pretty much useless, but you know it is a start we can add and remove home screens we can choose a default screen we can uh, choose to resize any widget we can remove the search bar we can change the lock screen we can change the battery status we can change the weather of course none of this is let's see without Wi-Fi and data this is not going to function properly but it is there and, it, and that part does work just we need the Wi-Fi and the data and we can change our button actions for the lock screen and also our slider shortcuts so you can change what would be displayed there under themes if we we're able to access the market we could download any signage mod 10 or AOKP theme from the market and apply it here and in the system we have a few settings here we have our status bar settings we can choose to show clock or not show the clock. We can choose the AM or PM style. I have none. We can choose the battery style. I like percentage. We can have our brightness control. And that is fully functional there. We can show our notification count. Obviously we're not going to be receiving any notifications, but it is nice to know that this is all fully functional here. We can choose to have power widgets and we can choose the widget buttons that we would like to have. And there's our power widgets there. We can change the button order. In the power menu we can select what we want to show up whenever we press and hold the power button. And we can change our hardware keys. We can enable custom actions and change what it does whenever we press our hardware buttons. So that is pretty much all for signage of my 10. Like I said, for now it's very unofficial, very beta. Uh, you will need to make sure that you're able to get back to stock because you won't be able to use this as a daily driver. It's just kind of fun to play around with for now. Uh, but anyways guys, that has been signage of my 10 for the Droid DNA. And as soon as this becomes either official or if there is a more 
functional build. I'll be sure to update you guys with a new video uh, to you know to let you guys know about that. Also, you can check me out at DroidModerX.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Droid DNA and other devices. Uh, I've covered several other devices as well. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Drew X2 has officially, unofficially gotten signage in my 10.1 booting and working.